Isn't it beautiful, Sarah? Come on, I can't wait to see it inside. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. When was it built? Oh, late 1700, early 1800, I think. Ooh. Oh, there's a terrible draft over here. This house isn't as well built as it looks. Oh. Oh, what a shame. Probably the work of the appraiser. Cousin Hattie must have spun in her grave. Oh, what beautiful floors. Heat works, we won't freeze. Oh, Sarah, come and look at this beautiful table. Oh, Ruth, the kitchen. Oh, Ruth, it's... Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, Sarah, here. Take these with you. I started to knock, but the door just swung open. I'm Pat McDougal, your nearest neighbor. I uh, saw your car parked outside and stopped to bid you an neighborly welcome. Oh, well, please come in. I'm Ruth Bennett. We just arrived. Well, welcome. Thank you. I uh, teach anthropology at the university. Oh, well, then you'll want to meet my niece, Vera. She's enrolled for the next semester. We'll be glad to have her. Oh, this is my niece, Sarah Dunning. Sarah, this is Professor McDougall, our neighbor. Hello. I love this place. Yes, it is lovely. I assume you inherited it. These old places are seldom put up for sale. Well, it really was quite a surprise. Hattie Campbell was my cousin, but I, I didn't know her very well. I visited her here once when I was a young girl, and I... Well, I guess she just took a shine to me. I've always had a strange sort of affinity for this place. You knew Hattie? Only the nod to. I often try to invite myself in, but she was adept at discouraging visitors. Still, I knew it would look like this. I must have dreamed about it. You both must come and see the kitchen. Would you like to see the kitchen? Yes. We belong here. I just know we do. Oh, how lovely. And electricity. With all this antiquity, I didn't expect it. Look at that pewter collection. Ah. Oh, it is handsome. Plenty of cupboard space. They sure are empty. Then it's lucky you're having dinner at my place tonight. Oh. Are we? Oh, no. Oh, yes, I insist. It's too late for you to drive back for supplies. Besides, some of the more interesting local people will be there tonight. I think it would be a good idea for you to know them. Well, that's very kind of you. You know, we have very cool autumns here. See? There's quite a draft. I'll check these doors and windows for you, otherwise you'll never get the house warm. Oh, no, you... I'll see you at seven. And I think I know a young man for you, to save you from boredom. You weren't kidding about Sarah, the young man, and the boredom bit, were you? I think they've forgotten we're here. Stands? Stands all right. He's a thorn on my academic side. But your bright students always are. You say good morning to him, and he gives you an argument. But you like him, don't you? Oh, yeah. From a safe distance across that gap. Looks like he decided to take charge of Sarah. And he may just succeed. I think this is what Sarah has been looking for. Why she left home and came here with me. Which leaves us with an inescapable paradox, right? Right? I'm sorry. They look so right together, don't they? Ruth and Pat. He seems much nicer. Nicer? Here in his own house. Maybe I am hypocritical. Ruth's had enough trouble with the wrong man. She needs the right one for a change. And why did you leave home? Oh, I didn't. 
I'm on leave from the Department of Agriculture, Washington, D.C., Executive Secretary. I'll stay a while and then decide whether to go back or look for work here. No encumbrances, then? Not now. I think I know who that is. Come on, give me moral support. I knew you wouldn't mind. Tom, and how are you? Hello, Henry. Hello, there, dear. Rachel, dear, how are things at the auxiliary? Oh, dear, it's so good to see you. Things are fine. Why don't you come around sometime? Maybe I will. You're Ruth Bennett, the Campbell House. When Pat told me you'd been invited tonight, I just couldn't resist coming to meet you. Oh, Pat, this is an improvement. Yes, I understand Cousin Hattie wasn't too friendly. I, um... Uh, don't mean your cousin, dear. Oh. But you are going to be friendly, aren't you? Oh, I do hope so. Ruth, this is my Aunt Delia, who thinks she needs no introduction. And her friend, Sylvia Wall. Forgive me for crashing the party, but you know I've been longing to see the Campbell House. Would you tell me all about it? Am I really going to see the inside? Your cousin was most... Uh, Why did you bring her along? She insisted. What could I do? Oh, Sylvia does the most wonderful seances. And she's writing a book about our local haunts. Do you know I've never been to a seance? Here's your opportunity. It would be fun, Ruth. Maybe Ruth doesn't want to have a seance. Oh, yes, I do. It's just that, well, the house has been closed for such a long time, and... I... Well, all right. But would you give me a week or so, you know, to sort of clean up? Of course we will. And we'll all come, won't we? All six of us. I'm not sure I can make it. Why, Pat? I think you're afraid. No. But in my line of work, you do pick up knowledge of these things. Witchcraft, black magic, spiritism. And the mischief they can work on the susceptible mind. It's hardly parlor entertainment. Now, who said anything about entertainment? We're very serious. We'll be there, dear. He will, too. This house is like an iceberg, almost finished. Just finished. My faithful chaperones. Oh. Ruth, where do you see what we found in this old junk shop? Hi, Pat. Let's put it over here. Handsome looking fellow, isn't he? I think Sarah fell in love with him. Oh. Huh? Isn't he beautiful? Well? Thank you, both of you. It's perfect. Now, let's get ready for dinner. 